Okay, for this session, basically, we are just going to continue with our SQL injection. All right. Uh, I have already launched my web code and I've already logged in, so that's not a problem. I am also launching my Zap. So my Zap is running at the back and you can already see that there are some uh, packets right, running through it. Okay, but let's come back to the web route first. Okay, so I'm now at the SQL injection uh, mitigation page, right, which is under the injection floor. Now, for this particular section, you will notice that there, there are a lot of readups. Right, so I'll leave this number of pages of read up all, right, all the way up to seven and the read up on page nine uh, for all of you to go through it. There is one lab which is on the page eight. All right, so this is your the page eight itself and in this particular uh, assignment we are supposed to find the IP address of this particular server called webgoat-prd which I believe is actually the production server All right. and there is a note over here that says the submit field of this assignment is not vulnerable for an SQL injection so this submit field is down here over here okay so this uh, webgoat-prd server All right. now uh, this is where there is something funny going on. Okay, uh, let me remove the edit first. Okay, and uh, of course you can sort the using the little button next to the title. Alright. Okay, so the sorting is all working, and of course uh, there is a default value inside the submit, which is nine one nine two one zero twelve. And of course, if I submit this, they will tell me that this is uh, incorrect. Right. But uh, this is the funny thing. We know that we don't actually have a real server. Right, because I am actually using my local host up here right, on the port 8080. And I'm not actually connected to any particular uh, network right, uh, beside my inter internet. But basically, uh, that's it. So where does all these IP address actually appear? Right. They definitely are not generated by any DHCP. Right. So that is where I start to ask certain questions. Right. Since we have gone through the network architecture, we have studied right, uh, networking in several of our other subjects. So this is what is going to happen. I'm just going to copy one of this IP address I'm going to place it here All right. and of course make sure that there is no space in front and I'm going to click submit and immediately you will realize that I get a congratulation message and this appear to be true for all the four IP address okay just to confirm that basically I will create the error first I will take the second one control C Control V and submit. Again, they give me a congratulations success. Uh, I'll generate the error again. Go for the third one. And uh, all right, then, of course, I'll submit. Same. All right, congratulations. And just to complete this whole thing, I will take the last one as well. And uh, please. So it appears that it really doesn't matter which IP address up here I take I will still get this congratulation uh, message the only uh, thing right, that is strange is the webgoat.prd server doesn't actually appear here and I'm using one of the IP address that belong to a server that is in this list which is not this server and we know that two server cannot have the same IP address there will be an IP conflict uh, well so this actually show that there is a 
bug in this particular assignment or, or this particular lab uh, so for students that are doing the project why right, please don't choose this uh, assignment as part of your project choose there are so many just choose another one but what if I want to make use of this particular lab and make it looks a little bit more authentic all right so that is why I have my zap running okay so the first thing I will do first okay let me just generate the error message first so I say all right uh, solution is not correct please try again fine I'm okay with that now I will want to do a interception all right or a break okay but I am I want to break on the respond part because sending data is not the key area that I want to look into so you can actually uh, create a break definitely using the set break on all requests or respond uh, alternatively I can only also make use of this feature up here inside the tool which means I only want to toggle breaks on responses because I already studied the uh, system and I know that it I have I do not need the request the, the request I'll just pass, let it pass through it's okay so let me just turn on the toggle break on all responses all right uh, okay, I can pass this through first okay no problem then I will do a sort uh, doesn't matter what you sort I will just sort by hosting and you can find that uh, okay this is a uh, one of the break uh, this is not why one I will uh, just step forward okay using this uh, next step and this is where they will return all the data that is to be used to fill up this table in the web group so well uh, since I know what I'm looking for, I'm actually looking for this uh, web code PRD. Okay. I can just take one of it, but since I sorted it out, I probably use the last one. And I can change the whole thing to this. So now I have the web code uh, PRD. Uh, the IP address is there. I won't touch this, okay, because I'm going to use it later on. The MAC address, status. Uh, description technically you don't have to change it but uh, if you want I can uh, well, I can do any change you can type anything you want here it doesn't really uh, matter okay uh, something like that and I just let it go through all the way right. now I'm gonna go back to my web code and you will find that what I changed actually appear here down here okay web code PRD same name as this all right then the description then of course the IP address Mac and status I did not change it and if I now just take this uh, IP address and paste it here all right and do a submit well now of course it will look more authentic but uh, we know this we did not really actually intercept the real IP address of the web code uh, production so this is just a, a skill that we play around with the uh, break right? particularly on just breaking on the response and you can also see the tick mark at the side and the green color tab change on tab 8 right? so uh, just a quick reminder there is a bug in this particular particular uh, SQL injection mitigation lab 8 and uh, for students that are doing the project uh, please don't choose this because uh, you're gonna have a lot of difficulty answering right, the question about why and how it happens and so forth right but that's about it okay for this particular session